I'm Mark Bowler. I work for San Diego Zoo Global's Institute for Conservation Research on population sustainability, which means I'm interested in how many animals there are in the forest and whether these numbers are stable, increasing or decreasing. I survey all kinds of large mammals, but I've worked a lot on monkeys in the past and it was a logical step for me to take our wildlife surveys up into the canopy where over half the mammals live in the rainforest. These cameras lie in wait to take pictures of animals when they walk past, sensing the heat with a heat sensor here and taking a picture with this lens. They also have an infrared light, so they take pictures in the dark without anyone seeing them at all. This project is huge. We have over 100 automatic cameras in trees and on the ground, spread all the way from Refugio Amazonas to the Tambapata Research Center. We've arrived at our second point. Uh, we're gonna put another couple of cameras here. Uh, we're gonna put them on this tree, looking out across the trail, because animals like to use trails and they'll be going up and down here uh, all day long, hopefully. Harpy eagles are just starting to nest again. They're bringing in material, and we think in a month or so they're gonna put an egg in. So now's the best opportunity to get a camera trap up by the nest. I love climbing trees in the forest, but here we have to be quick, we have to be quiet and efficient to make sure we don't disturb the birds. So our best climber's going up. Alberto has been climbing in the Amazon for years. By using a wireless camera, we can reduce disturbance even more. And even better than that, guests at Refugio Amazonas can accompany us to the site and they can see the, the eagles and what they've been doing and what they've been eating as well. Hopefully it'll add to their experience working with Wired Amazon. We use the number of images to estimate the wildlife populations, but the size of the project means we have thousands and thousands of images. It's more than we could ever look at by ourselves. We depend on hundreds of citizen scientists to identify these photos for us. We upload the images to the internet and a small army of volunteers look through them for us. Anyone can do it and it's quite exciting. Our volunteers have already made some amazing discoveries. They found a species of porcupine that nobody knew was here and images of dogs, pumas and jaguars are much more common than you might expect. The project's always evolving. Catch up on our latest developments on the Wired Amazon website.